Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a flip clock animation like this. And as you may see here, um, I wanted to hide that. Um, yeah, I already have stuff in the timeline because there's a lot of clips and a lot of effects and so I wasn't gonna write that down on paper, like that was not worth it. So. Here we go. So the first thing is the color clip. Well, I already have it, so I'm not going to do it again, but here it is. And you can just put it wherever you want on your timeline. At the beginning is maybe the best idea, you know. Um, and then we're going to add a title clip that we're going to make into like a rounded triangle to make the back of the flick clock. And so in our case here, that's what it's going to look like. And so to make this, I just made a title clip with a rectangle. So you can just add a rectangle. And at the beginning, the border width will be zero, but you can just change that to like something very high. So I just went like this until it looked right. And so I ended up on this and then you can just center it. So then you have a rectangle. Uh, we do have an effect on it, but we will not mess with it right now. It will come into play later. The next thing we're going to do is add a number on top. So it's a flip clock here. Uh, it could be like score thing, whatever. Like, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, so in my case here, we have numbers. You can add a letter if you want. But yeah, I have a number. That's the second number that's going to show up. So in my case, I chose three. Um, I'm using the font stencil. You can use, again, whatever you want and do make sure it is centered. So where are we? You are here. There is one effect here that's going to be important is alpha shapes. It's back, by the way. Uh, make sure you're using either the latest version of Canon Live or one that's not like 23.08.2, basically. Any other one is fine. So here uh, I have it on subtract and so the rectangle doesn't really matter that much. What really does matter is the position in Y here. It has to be half of the height. So in my case, it's 760 here. The next clip we're going to have um, is... I'm going to just hide all of the effects. Um, it's just a copy of the previous one. But we're going to make it a little bit lighter so that we can see it. Once it's made and lighter it's gonna be like the top part so i'm gonna add alpha shapes and i put it on the top so that we can only see the top so here it will be minimum and not subtract as before you could do it also with subtract i guess uh if you put it at the bottom yeah it doesn't really matter much uh, both will do the same in the end and the last effect that we can't see yet is a rotate. And that's like the whole meat of this effect. It's that you need to rotate this little thing um, well. So all the first part is just at zero. It's just because I wanted to not, not start right away. But then um you're gonna see it rotate and so at first i tried to only rotate in one direction um in y but that looks like shit i'm gonna show you um if i don't have that at minus 98 it just like it's in front and it looks weird like it it doesn't look 3d you know so like not cool so you can go back here and have some sort of angle and so that looks cool. And it goes to the middle. And then we'll change clips. And yeah, uh, if I did not have the alpha shapes, I would see the whole thing moving like this. And so that's also why you have the alpha shapes. And like that only works well because it rotates around the middle and the alpha shapes is in the middle. Like as before, this is uh, centered. By the way, I... I'm going to share this on the KD store. And so you will be able to add it in Canon Live yourself. Um, because I'm very nice. I think, like, I need to figure out how you add them, actually, in Canon Live. Um, once I figure it out, I will add something here. No, I will add something at the end, actually. 
um, next one, we have the first number. And here, like, same deal, title clip uh, with the number centered, same size and everything. Then it's put here. And we have alpha shapes at the bottom. Next one. So here we have two, two different clips. I'll actually zoom in a little so we can see better. The first one is the top of the one. So we had the bottom and here we have only the top. Um, so we're going to have a rotation that's exactly the same as the one from here. So you can, well, you can, you, basically all of the effects are the same as this one, except for the brightness. So you can also just copy them by going control C and then here paste FX. And so you will have the one and the back thing moving together. And then you can see the three that we had put at the beginning show up in the back. Then we have the second clip of this part, which is the back black thing here, uh, which will do the end of the rotation. And so here we have brightness. We will talk about that later. Um, we have the rotation, which is pretty much the same one. It's you're going from... Well, these numbers, like, actually, that should be 98 because that's what I had on the other one. Um, and then it goes to zero and whatever. So, yeah, you can see it go... Then you have the alpha shapes, same, uh, just to hide the part that you need to hide. So, the last one is the bottom of the three. So, let's just pretend that we are on the same project and not a different one. Um, I changed a small thing for this top one. Um, I had a weird thing with Flippo and it was actually useless. So, uh, here we have the rotation. Okay, that's the worst example, actually. Uh, wait, I'm going to go on a, in another letter because an L changing for an L is not very noticeable. So here um, on the top one, you have a rotate going from minus 900 to zero. And that makes it rotate the last bit of the way. And alpha shapes is hiding the top of the R. Yeah. And so if I have everything showing up, Okay, if I remove the brightness from like this one, you cannot see it moving. Like, it's the shit, you know, like it doesn't look good. So yeah, it was like this at first. So you had it gray at the top and then it became gray at the bottom, which meant if you wanted to do multiple numbers, it didn't work. And so I added this thing here that makes it so that it switches to being gray at the bottom but then the top needs to switch to being black and so that's why I added the brightness at the bottom here and so while it's moving the brightness is changing in the back slow enough that it's not that noticeable I think it looks okay and then we have gray at the top and black at the bottom again which means you can do multiple numbers in the same way and how will you do multiple numbers you ask well the best way, I think, is to uh, select everything. So you can just do like this, but it's very annoying. Uh, you don't need the background. Oh yeah, I added a little uh, clap as well, uh, which I think it sounds cool. Um, um, so yeah, you can select like all of your clips. And then you add them to the library, which I do have a video on that, so check it out. Uh, and then if you go here, you can make it. And so that's how I made the final flip clock, because... Well, you might notice here there are dates. And so I made this for the first time a year and a half ago. Um, and I never made a tutorial about it. And so, yeah, I did change the method a little bit, so, so that is cool. So yeah, you have your final thing here. And I don't know why it's these weird colors. But I will save this and I will show you in a new thing because now, like, let's imagine you have a project where you actually need it. So I'll make a new project, uh, whatever. 
And so I go in the library and I can just add it to here. And so it will be the same as the one we just saw. Yeah, library. Um, so you can add it here. And well, there's more info in the library video, but here you can't change anything. But if you go to, you select this, you go to timeline, current clip, expand clip. It will say, oh no, I can't because there's not enough space. So you insert tracks and you know you need seven, so you add four. Uh, actually, six could have been enough because I don't have a background, but I will add a background, so I will need it, need it anyway. And we'll do the same. And here it is, everything. Uh, I'll select it all, just so that there's space for a background. And I'll add a color clip. And now, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to go from one to three this time. So I will go and paste clips and I can change uh, my numbers. So that's cool. And I will go from two to uh, eight. Yes. And so like, it should all work perfectly. There's no reason it doesn't. Yay. Perfect. Um, and then you're like, oh, but what if I want two numbers? And I'm like, well, yes, of course, of course. You need to do the same timeline, current clip, expand clip. Um, and then you have numbers. And so the ones we haven't changed are the one and the three. And so you can change them again uh, to whatever you like. And so now I do have two of them that do different things. Uh, if you want to put it one next to the other, I would recommend actually um, going and making two different sequences and playing with the sequences. So let's say the second one I added here, uh, I'm going to put in a new sequence. Create sequence from selection here. Uh, I don't care about the name. Maybe I should, but yeah. And now it's here. Uh, I'm gonna make a new sequence from the first one as well, actually. And sequence two will go here. Sequence three will go on top. And this is getting very long. Um, and now I should have them both here, yeah. And I will make them a bit smaller to make sure they fit next to each other. And we will have one here and the second one. To the right. Oop. Very cool. And if you want more number to change one after the other, as I was saying with the brightness thing, um, you can add another one after. You can put them one after the other. I will just remove the transform effects because that's not what we're doing now. So you put them one after the other and like it's zero and then it's two. So it doesn't work. But I will change the two to zero. Update title. And then you can decide like it's not fast enough. And so like I will just cut it here and this one I will also cut at the beginning because I know it's long before. And so yeah, with the brightness thing, with the color changing, it should work. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. So yeah, uh, I think that's all I have to show you about this effect. I do want to talk about something else. About the sharing of the library clip. Uh, you can just download it from the description and then add it uh, like there's more information in the library clip video and in the description of the like in the link and yeah you can't currently download from canon live sadly i did make a fit your request for it so maybe at one point but not right now um so i'm thinking so yeah multiple things to talk about i think i might reset the 
form for the suggestions of videos because like there's too many in there and I think it's kind of like overwhelming and like there's a lot that's not really doable or like not inspiring or stuff like that and so I think I might reset it um, at least like until 2023 or something. And the second thing is I had an idea for a series of videos. Usually when I make a video, it's about an effect. So like here, how to make this flip clock. Uh, I was thinking of maybe doing something like, I've had requests about it, um, like composite and transform and like everything about this. I did make a video about rotoscoping a while ago like this. Um, yeah. And so I was thinking about like, yeah, basics, like, so composition transform, like the different uh, composition modes you have or with alpha shapes, uh, which we do use here, like what do these things do? Uh, stuff like that. I don't know. I'd love to hear what anybody, well, more like what everybody thinks. Um, you can do it in the comments or in the Discord as well. It's the only Discord server I have notifications on. So... If you post something, I will see it, <laughs> usually. Sometimes things get lost, but yeah. Oh god, it's been 22 minutes, I'm gonna hate the freaking... Uh, stop. Bye bye bye.